Good morning. I'm Dr. Princey Johnson, Program Leader for the Masters in Census, Data and Management at Liverpool John Moores University. One of my research interests include pedagogy in leadership skills. Hello everyone. My name is Gary Wood and I'm Head of Sheffield Engineering Leadership Academy and a University Teacher in Professional Skills at the University of Sheffield. Today we want to explore the value and place of enterprise education in current times. Recovering from COVID-19 will require institutions to be resilient and adaptable, to be enterprising. This is the perfect time for us to promote enterprise for everyone in our institutions. Enterprising institutions will recover quickly and survive. But we know that effecting the cultural change necessary to embed enterprise is difficult. So the question is, how can we do that in times that are themselves challenging for our institutions? Today, we'll share a model based on situating enterprise at the heart of research, teaching and knowledge exchange and their evaluation frameworks. In the context of COVID-19, staff and students alike had to adapt to the rapidly changing requirements, which is a wicked problem. Even people who normally don't consider themselves enterprising have had to be. Imagine what we could do if we make enterprise a deliberate part of our approach. In the early stages of pandemic disruption, we have seen great examples of innovation from academic colleagues and students adapting to new approaches. But much of this has been unconscious. As we face the uncertain future, we need to shift to making enterprise a deliberate approach, a part of our institutional strategy to build resilience. To do that, we need to look across our core activities. All universities are involved in research, teaching and knowledge exchange, and in England we're measured by REF, TEF and KEF. Let's explore where Enterprise sits in these, briefly here, but you can find more detail in our forthcoming paper published by EEUK. The Teaching Excellence Framework, TEF, attempts to measure teaching quality in English higher education providers whilst promoting its value alongside research. It does this by evaluating the resources and facilities of each provider, along with student satisfaction and outcomes in terms of employment. How does teaching in TEF relate to enterprise? Well, success in TEF requires graduates to secure and sustain employment, and that demands wider skills alongside intellectual ability. Disciplinary knowledge alone is not enough. Students need to be able to apply it and to spot opportunities to do so in ways that make a difference. Research Excellence Framework, REF, is a review carried out to assess the quality of higher education institutions' research outputs and impact using three main criteria, namely originality, significance, and rigor of one's research. To optimize the research activities, researchers are trained using the VTAID Researcher Development Framework as shown in the figure. We can clearly see that enterprise skills are a key component of each of the four domains in this development plan. The Knowledge Exchange Framework CAF measures universities' performance in translating knowledge and research into impact in society and the economy. This is through collaboration that offers commercial and creative endeavor with opportunities for staff and students. As highlighted in the diagram, entrepreneurship and enterprise education is a key part of CAF and the linked Knowledge Exchange Concordat. This includes a set of eight guiding principles which provide the means to continuously improve the institution's performance. So now we've looked at three core areas of university's activities. Research, teaching and knowledge exchange. The government white paper Success as a Knowledge Economy labels these poor cousins. But are there ways in which they can meaningfully be related to each other? We've pointed to some ways in which enterprise education can be related to REF, TEF and KEF, the three Fs. It's relevant to all of them and so might be situated at their intersection. We argued that enterprise is required for institutional resilience and adaptability. Is now the time to promote the centrality of enterprise to everything we do? So, what skill sets are common to all three frameworks? Firstly, personal skills, which include authentic problem solving, innovation and creativity, risk-taking and taking action. Secondly, social skills include influence, communication, team building and development, 
and true collaboration. We have real case studies from my master's students on the Census Data and Management program and undergraduates on SALA program doing industry and community linked projects. As we are developing this work further into an article, we invite submissions of more case studies from your practice. What about your institution in practice? Take a moment to think what might be good examples in those contexts. Now, note down the name of a person or department in your institution you could talk to so you can start sharing your example and making impact. So in conclusion, enterprise is central to everything we do. It needs to be at the heart of our institutions and will link research, teaching and knowledge exchange in meaningful, impactful ways. We need to recognize and promote its value in this way and not just relate it to learning and teaching activity. Recognizing this comes with responsibility for us as enterprise educators to help our institutions see the importance of enterprise for their relevance and survival as institutions in a post-COVID-19 world. What would you do? Send us your case studies so others could learn from it. Thank you. Thank you.